And I bought four, yes, four new pairs of boots in this haul. I could not resist myself in every single one of these pairs of boots. I'm just obsessed with everything in this haul. I know I'm going to say that like a hundred times, so sorry. Okay. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I have a Target haul for you guys, but I know recently in the past few I've said, hmm, I haven't found quite a lot of good stuff at Target. I have a hard time filling up my cart at Target. Well, today's different. I've got some really, really cute sweaters and really, really cute boots. If that sounds good, stick around. We're getting right into it. As usual, everything I talk about, I will link in the description box down below, as well as all of my sizing information will be there as well. Okay, the first outfit. We're gonna start off with this green sweater. Okay, I love green. I'm loving green for the past like six months. Spring and what I'm wearing. <laughs> This was in my last Target haul. I will link this one down below as well. Anyway, I'm loving green for fall and for spring and going into winter, I think it's still gonna stick around. This green is so unique. It's like a mint sage hybrid kind of green. I think it's so pretty. It's bright, but it's not like over the top bright. You could still wear this like as workwear. You can wear it in a more subtle way with toned down accessories. I did pair this with a pair of jeans and a pair of boots, which I'm going to get to the boots in a second. Oh, they're so cute. I did get my normal size small in this sweater. It is from the brand A New Day and they tend to be a little oversized. Now with that being said, I kind of wish that I had gotten a medium. I would have liked it to have been even more oversized. It was not really like an oversized fit. It was more just like a normal fit, which is great too, but I kind of wish that I had gotten, gotten a medium. The quality on this is unbelievable. It's very thick. It's definitely more of a medium to heavy weight type of sweater. It's just really, really nicely made. Like it feels really good and it's gonna be really good as it gets colder. I'm obsessed. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. And I bought four, yes, four new pairs of boots in this haul. I could not resist myself in every single one of these pairs of boots. First pair of boots, <laughs> you guys. These are supposed to be like a Doc Martin type boot with the lug sole and it's all canvas. So it's got such a beautiful texture to it. I love that it's all canvas. It just looks so, so, so nice and different. It does have a zipper enclosure on the side, but with a working shoelace as well. So you can really loosen it up and get your foot in there. It's not difficult to get the feet in there. I love these with either tucked, my jeans tucked in, and actually in the next outfit, you're gonna see me with the jeans rolled up. I actually like it better with my jeans rolled up, but I could see wearing this with dresses, with skirts, with like a sweater dress would be so cute. And it's got like a lighter feel to it because it is a cream color. They're not like black combat boots. They have a little bit different of a look to them. I love them. In boots, I almost always get a size eight. I am usually between a seven and a half and an eight in shoes in general, but in boots I get an eight because I'm gonna wear socks with them and I really like how these fit. So I would say you would wanna size up if you are in between, otherwise just get your normal size. And then this next outfit, this piece was what started the whole haul. I had this in my cart. It went, went out of stock and then it came back in stock. And as soon as it came back in stock, I was like buying it. Boom, check out. And I threw some other stuff into my cart, obviously, at the same time. When I saw this online, I definitely thought it was more of like a jacket. I would actually call this more of a shacket. It's not quite the weight of a jacket and it's not the, quite the weight of a flannel. It's somewhere in between, a little thicker than a flannel, a little more lightweight than a jacket. But again, the quality on this is so beautiful. It has a robe tie middle, either with this or you could even take this off and just wear it as like a shirt, like a jacket. The color is so beautiful. When I saw this online, I thought it was going to be pink, but it's definitely more of like a lavender pinky purple. So just keep that in mind. I did get my normal size small in the brand A New Day and it fit perfect. I definitely could layer under this if I wanted to. I'm so happy that I have this. 
I believe it does come in other colors. A few minutes later. Yeah, it actually online it says belted shirt jacket. I don't know what it is. Sometimes when I shop online, guys, I feel like I black out and I just start clicking. It does also come in like a brown color, but the brown color is sold out online. Is set, it does say pink online, but I would definitely call this more of like a lavender pinky purple. Beautiful shirt jacket, beautiful. I'm just obsessed with everything in this haul. I know I'm gonna say that like a hundred times, so sorry. Okay, I got this next striped classic black and white sweater. This is a really a timeless piece. The color scheme is just never gonna go out of style. You could wear this for years. The quality on this, again, is wonderful. It's definitely very soft, almost like slightly stretchy of a material. It does have a mock neck, so if you don't like a turtleneck, this is gonna be a lot more comfortable. It was not like choking me at all. And it was long enough to wear with leggings, which I love sweaters like that for the fall. Just being able to put leggings and a pair of boots on is like so perfect. I did get my normal size small and it was oversized enough that it covered me. Really love this. This does come in other colors as well. It comes in solids and other striped colors. I did pair that with a pair of faux leather leggings. I did buy these last year at Target. They're brum, they're brum. They're from the brand Wild Fable. I did get my normal size small and they fit great. And I do believe they have these again this year. I think I saw them in my store. Of course, I will link them down below. They're just a really good affordable pair of faux leather leggings. You guys ha probably have seen faux leather leggings that are, you know, over $70 sometimes over a hundred dollars and that's fine. Like if you want to purchase ones that are more expensive, that's fine. But for me personally, I don't wear these enough to justify spending that much on them. If that makes sense. Like I can't wear these to work and I live in Florida. So it really is only like three or four months that I'm going to be wearing pants. It's too hot. So anyway, these have worked just beautifully for me and I've had them for a year and they're still holding up great. And I paired them with these booties. I can't even tell you how much I love these. These are my favorite pair of boots that are in this whole haul. They're so comfortable. Because they have the sock, they're so easy just to slide right on your foot and slide right off your foot. There's no need to untie or unzip. They're really, really easy to get in and out of. I love this cognac color. It's gonna go with everything. And I love that it has a black sole because it's gonna go with like black themed outfits, but also with brown and cream themed outfit outfit. So it's really versatile. They're really, really good quality, heavy lug sole boot. I did get my normal size eight in these and they fit wonderful. I would highly recommend these. They also do come in black as well. Okay. This next outfit was not my favorite. So this cardigan, I have seen this cardigan online a lot of people have talked about it. A lot of people have featured it on their Instagram or in other YouTube videos. And I was really interested in it because I liked the colors. I love houndstooth print and I love a big oversized cardigan. Who doesn't? Say the pros, it's very, very soft, like extremely soft, stretchy, just really, really comfy. Okay. I did get my normal size small. It is very big. Like very, very big. So I almost feel like I would have preferred to have sized down to an extra small because of the sleeves. Like the sleeves were almost covering my hands and they don't have a gathered wrist. So there was no way I'd be able to do anything with my hands if I wore this. So I would say size down. And then the last thing is I'm not crazy about the silhouette of this. I feel like it looks more like a bathrobe, which is awesome. Like if I'm going to plan to wear this around my house, it's perfect. Like if you're really cold and at night and you want to watch a movie or something, throw this on. I don't see myself wearing this out like in public. I just feel like it looks too like moo moo ish or like too bathrobe ish to me for my personal style. I don't, I don't love it for that purpose. But it is a very good quality sweater. And if you like the silhouette of it, I don't think you'll be disappointed in the quality. It is really, really good quality. And with that, I paired my third pair of boots from this haul, these faux leather riding boots. 
These are, again, really nice quality. They're very sturdy. They're definitely more structured. Like they're not super soft leather that are going to be like flexible. And I will say in this outfit, I wore them over a pair of jeans and I wasn't crazy about how I felt like I felt very almost constricted with these with a pair of jeans. So I would say if you have a larger calf, you're probably gonna have a, a problem wearing these just so you're aware of it. But in the next outfit, I wore them with a skirt and I liked how they fit much better. They were much, much more comfortable without that extra bulk inside the boot. With skirts though, so cute. I did get my normal size eight in those as well, just so you know. Once again, stripes, clearly I like stripes. I have this striped grandpa cardigan. This is from the brand A New Day as well. I did get my normal size small with this and it fits really nice. It's definitely oversized, but not to the point where it's not functional like I said with the last one. Again, I think it comes down to the end of the sleeves. If they have a banded sleeve, you can easily just push them up or, you know, it's easier to function <laughs> and use your hands for things. Kind of need to do that every once in a while. But this is a very, very soft, again, I would say more heavier weight cardigan. It's not super lightweight. So I won't be able to wear this for a while where I live. But if you are somewhere where it's gonna get cold very soon, you're really gonna like this one. The gray and white is very timeless. It's very easy to match. You can put this with any color scheme really, and it's gonna go with it. And I did put this with like a mock neck tank top that I got from Walmart. I have it in like, three or four colors because it's just like a perfect layering piece. I will also link that down below if it's online. I did also wear this black skirt from the brand Wild Fable. I did buy this over the summer. I'm not sure if it's available. If it is, I will link it down below. But I just love like this black, black and white and gray color scheme. You could even wear it with shorts. You could even wear it with black like trousers for work if you wanted to do that it would be really cute. And I did wear those riding boots with that outfit and I liked it so much better. I felt so cute. And then I have another grandpa cardigan and this one is a little more of like the fall tones. This sort of chartreuse browny, yellowy mustard with black in there. Really cute. This is definitely not like a soft sweater. It's just more of a standard knit yarn sweater. Um, again, more of like a medium to heavyweight sweater. I love, again, this like slightly oversized fit, but not too oversized. I got a size small again from the brand A New Day. I felt like in this outfit, I felt just like a girl in a 90s movie. Like the main character who's kind of like angsty. She's in high school and like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt. And I felt so cute. I felt so cute. I love this sweater. And I actually have this sweater in like a bright corally pinky orange color that I got in the springtime. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same sweater. And I've really enjoyed that one. So I'm happy to have it in a more fall color scheme. And these are the fourth pair of boots that I bought. And these are super unique boots. I've never seen boots like this before. And I love them. Some of you guys might think they're kind of ugly because they are kind of ugly, but, but they're also really cute. They are these olive, canvas boots. Now these are definitely like a hybrid between a sneaker and a boot because they are rubber, like it's a rubber toe, a rubber sole and a canvas top, just like a sneaker would be, but it does have the lug sole a little bit heavier of a type of sole type of feel with the tab at the back, just like a boot. It does have a zipper on the side to get in and out of. I love these. I love olive. I love green as you guys have figured out by now. And I just have never seen shoes like this before. This does come in other colors as well if you don't like the olive green, but I really, really like these a lot. Now I will say for these shoes, I definitely wish that I had sized down to a seven and a half because these are too big. Like my toe does not come all the way up and the toe box is very, very wide. So that's good if you have a wide foot. I do not have a wide foot. I have a very narrow foot. So I kind of felt like I was wearing clown shoes where like, the top, the whole top was like a big empty space. So I'm gonna try to get these in the next size down and see if they fit me better, but I love, love these. Again, with the texture of the canvas. And last but not least, I do love me a good loungewear set. If you've been here before, you know that. So I have this tie-dyed cropped hoodie and a jogger pants. These are a jersey material. So they are very, very lightweight. They're gonna be really nice if you tend to get really, really hot 
when you're lounging around in like a sweatpant outfit, or if you're like me and you live somewhere where it's pretty warm still, you're really gonna like this for this time of year. Um, I am five foot four. The joggers were a little long on me. I would have preferred them to be a little shorter, but again, if I'm just lounging around the house, it doesn't bother me because they are banded at the bottom. And this is a cropped hoodie, but it's not super cropped. Like you couldn't see my midriff at all when I wore it with the joggers because the joggers are high-waisted. This was just a comfortable amount of cropped for me. I did get my normal size small in both pieces and they fit wonderful. And you guys know, I keep saying I'm not into tie-dye, but then I keep buying tie-dye. But I like this tie-dye because of the tones. It's got the fall tones. It's got the browns. It's got the dark blue. It's got the cream. Okay, I like it. All right, and that is it for this Target haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and leave me a comment down below letting me know which was your favorite outfit. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. It literally makes my day, my week. I would also love for you to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And I wanna thank you so much for watching this video today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.